Introduction to Neural Networks with Java, Class 3, Part 3. Welcome to Part 3. In this part, you will see how to use the Hopfield Neural Network classes that you just created in the last part in a simple console mode application. The console mode hides a lot of the details that you might see in a GUI application and allows us to focus primarily on the subject of this course, which is neural network programming. In the next part, we will look at a more advanced example that does make use of the GUI. We begin by looking at the structure of this console mode application. The console example begins by creating a Hopfield neural network named Network. As you can see, a 4 is passed into the constructor to indicate that there will be 4 neurons. Next, we create two input patterns, pattern 1 and pattern 2. Pattern 1 is the input pattern that the neural network is going to be trained with. So we're training it to recognize true, true, false, false. Pattern 2 is the pattern that is the distorted pattern that we're going to present to the neural network to see if it can recognize it. It should recognize that this is pretty close to pattern 1 and produce pattern 1 as the output, meaning that it has recognized pattern 1 to be essentially the same as pattern 2. We have also a Boolean result, which is going to hold the result. That is basically going to be the output pattern that was, in fact, recognized. We begin by displaying the pattern that is going to be trained. This is pattern 1. To display the pattern, we use the format Boolean function. This function was defined earlier in this class. All that the format boolean function does is displays trues as t's and falses as f's. This simply displays the pattern so that it is displayed to the console. Next, we train the network for this pattern, pattern 1. By calling the train method on the Hopfield neural network, the Hopfield neural network is trained for this pattern. Here you see pattern 1 being presented to the neural network. Pattern 1 is what the neural network was trained with, so it should echo back pattern 1 as the output. We display that we are presenting pattern 1, and we display the output to the console screen. Next, we present pattern 2. We should get pattern 1 back for presenting pattern 2, because the neural network should recognize that pattern 2 is actually close to pattern 1, and it's only been trained with pattern 1, so naturally that is what it feels that it is a close enough match to. Now let's watch this application in action. You can see that we are presenting the pattern 2, and it is recognizing pattern 2 as pattern 1. Now let's look at a slightly more complex example. Here we see an application that allows you to input a pattern into a four neuron Hopfield neural network. This is the same format neural network as we saw before, a four neuron Hopfield neural network. You can see the weight matrix though. It's initially set to all zeros. You're allowed to input a pattern that the neural network will be trained for. Basically, you input the pattern, click the train button, and the weight matrix will adjust you input a pattern and click run, and the weight matrix will be given a chance to produce the output from the input that you presented to the Hopfield neural network. You can also press the clear button, and it will clear the entire weight matrix and reset it to a, an initial state. Now let's take a look at how to train this Hopfield neural network in this application. Now we're going to make use of it. We're setting the training pattern to 1010. We click train, it's now trained. We're going to set this initial value to 0 to a slightly different pattern. Notice it still recognizes it. We set it to the same and it recognizes it as well. Now we're going to see a hot-filled neural network that actually represent, recognizes a graphical pattern. Here you see another application. This application has a grid. On this grid, you can draw individual items. By clicking on a box, the box will either turn on or off. It toggles. 
You can draw patterns onto this grid and click Train. The neural network will be trained for the pattern that you drew. You can also click Go and the neural network will attempt to recognize the pattern that you just draw. Clear will clear the entire grid of any drawings that you had made before. We're going to now take a look at how you can train this Hopfield neural network for two patterns. The Hopfield neural network will then be able to recall either of these patterns when you draw either all or part of one of these two patterns. We're going to show you how to train this neural network for this now. To train the neural network, you draw a pattern and click Train. Now we're going to erase that pattern because we want to train it for a different pattern. We're drawing the second pattern down here and we're going to click Train. It's another little box. The neural network is now trained for both patterns. If we click Go, you notice it recognized that pattern. Even with two of them away, it can recognize the pattern. We're now clearing that bottom pattern and drawing part of the first pattern to see if it can recognize the first pattern. This Hopfield neural network is now trained for two patterns. This concludes part three. In the next section, we will continue past Hopfield neural networks and learn some training methods that will form the foundation for more complex neural network types that we will see later in this course. We will also look at error calculation, which is an important concept for training neural networks. We hope you will continue with class part four. This course is based on our Introduction to Neural Network Programming books for Java and also Introduction to Neural Networks for C Sharp. Available in both paperback and ebook format.